Hey everyone, Zane with you, and today we'll show you how to use ChatGPT schedule tasks for beginners. Now, if you want to get a virtual assistant that can actually personalize some tasks of yours and also follow up your tasks and tell you and notify you one by one, so this is what ChatGPT schedule tasks provide. In brief, we're going to discuss how we can actually use it and how to make a good benefit of it. So simply after logging into your ChatGPT account, here you should click on the top right side on your profile icon. Then you wanna to go to tasks and it is still in beta. So it might be improved in the upcoming month. Now, once you click on it here, you will find this interface. You can choose some customs from there or try your own by clicking on try your own. And you can type here what and when formula. So let's say that the what is wake me up with a custom compliment on my prompting skills. And the when will be every day at 9 a.m. I can simply type this or you can choose one of these custom prompts as you can see. So make sure I relax this weekend. Then you want to click on the enter. Then you will have to do some edits if you want to do so. So simply click on these three lines and click on edit. The good thing is that you can pause, you can delete the task, or you can schedule a repetitive task for this one. So let's say that you want to repeat it or do you want it just only once. You can also choose the days every Tuesday, every Monday. You can schedule the repetition weekly, monthly, daily. You can also choose the time and click on save. You can change its name, the instructions. You can even pause this task if you need. And the good thing is that when you go back to tasks up right here, you can see all your tasks just right here in one interface and in one board. Now, in order to follow up these tasks and to make it show you some notifications and know exactly what you do and what you do not do, you need to activate the memory of ChatGPT. And in order to activate the memory, you just have to go to settings, personalization, then go and click on this option right here, toggle it on. And you need to give ChatGPT some information about your daily activities or daily tasks, or how do you manage actually your day, just in order to make him act as your virtual assistant in order to be your manager and the task organizer that you can actually depend on without using many applications that are actually damaging or demolishing your productivity. And the good thing is that you can add some tasks like remind me of doing some sport, uh, remind me of uh, reading my newspaper, summarize the news for me, for today, for example. You can ask it to give you a specific information about something that you are keen on, for example, and you can use it in many other ways and in order to organize your jobs and tasks. And that is it for today's review. If you find this video helpful, please support us with like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you for watching and goodbye.